I don't know if this is how regular people eat in the Philippines or if I'm the crazy tourist having half of a chicken for breakfast. It's so good though and it's so cheap. Like all of this food is like, it's like six dollars. Am I the weird one for ordering fried chicken for breakfast or is this a real thing that happens here? It's normal, it's normal. You ordered twice as much as me. Traffic here is absolutely insane. It took us an hour and a half to get to somewhere that's five miles away. We're at some mall, there's like some giant outlet sneaker sale and they asked us to come and they're giving us free shoes? Yeah, one pair. They had me at free shoes. I don't know what's here, it's a mall. This is probably, this is probably stores and stuff. Wow, traffic is absolutely insane. Why don't people just, it would honestly probably be quicker if you just had a bike. Wow, this is a lot of shoes. They just have all the, all the boxes and then all the shoes. I don't know how I'm gonna find something in a size 12. This is just a little bit overwhelming. Yeah, we've been granted full permission to sneak behind the table and go through these shoe boxes. This is like Christmas. There's, there's literally like probably 10,000 pairs of shoes here. This is absolutely amazing. I don't even know what any of these shoes are, but look at, like, look at the amount of Adidas boxes. This is amazing! There's New Balance, there's Adidas, I think Nike's back there, and then also up against the wall. I have, I've never seen this many pairs of shoes in the same place. They also said I can pick any pair of shoes in the entire store. This is gonna be, I mean, there's a lot of shoes. This is gonna be hard. I'll be honest with you, it's not like they had like hyped up shoes there. They had like generally what you'll find at a Nike outlet, but they did have some cool stuff there. I mean, they had Element Reacts, they had some cool boost you wears that I was looking at getting. But at the end of the day, best thing that they had in the size 12 was these right here, the Foam Paws and Navies. I have bought many, many pairs of these in the past, never for me. And today I bought these for me. Well, I mean, I didn't buy them. I got them for free. Is it bad that I completely forget the name? Christian, what was the name of the store that gave these to us? Planet Sports. Thank you, Planet Sports, for these foam posits. I will love them and cherish them for the rest of my, I'm not gonna love them and cherish them for the rest of my life, but at least for a couple of years. Apparently, there's like four malls here, and one of them has a Nike store and like a Foot Locker, but not a Foot Locker, but like a, a Filipino Foot Locker. While we're here, I mean, we, we might as well check it out. We're definitely gonna check out the Nike store. I don't know what they have in the Philippines at Nike. Okay, uh, we were actually painfully misinformed and there was no Nike in this mall, and there was no Adidas in this mall, and there was no Filipino equivalent of Foot Locker in this mall either. Yeah, I don't know how we messed that one up that bad, but there was something even better. Did you get us lost? No, I swear. Okay, a little bit. I think he got us lost. Excuse me? Yes. Uh, which way is SM Mall? This way. This way that way? Going right, cool. going Thank right, then... Hey, that guy helped us out. I think, I think we know, I think we know where we're going now? I, I don't know what that place is. What are you guys lined up for? What are you lined up for? I don't know what they're lined up for, but there's a giant line for like ice cream or it can't be ice cream because they have ice cream here and there's no line. I sort of want to know what they're lined up for. First impression of this mall is it is significantly busier than the other mall. I mean, there's so many people. I'm a much bigger fan of this mall than the other one. So we just found a consignment store. It's called Styled, and it's like brand new. Like brand, brand new. It just opened up last weekend, and they have a whole bunch of awesome stuff. I'm excited. I mean, they have a whole bunch of Jordan 1s. They have Travis Scott 6s. 
Look, they have Travis Scott sixes. And then they have these and these, which I need. I really, really need to find these. And then they have these and these and these and the satins, but I mean, I really need to find these as well. These are so cool. I hate these and love them at the same time. I can't decide whether I like these or not. Wow, like look at the ceiling in this place. How cool and fancy, like big sign, ceiling. Jordan 1's all over the place. Yeezys, they have some off-whites up on the top row up there, which I am somehow too short to reach. Oh, what in the world? What in the world? Is that? There's some whole other mall across the street and we're in some store called Titan. I think it's called Titan. This is my first time seeing LeBron 17s. They actually don't look that bad. I mean like these are probably the best LeBron since the 15, which I realize now that I'm saying that that means literally nothing because there's one model in between, but I love the 15. This seems to be going back to more of the same materials and same like airbag setup as the 15 and they have the black ones. I think these ones were a little bit popular. I'm not sure. I don't keep up with Nike basketball. They really seem to be going for the backward swoosh. I mean, we got backward swoosh, backward swoosh. Okay, those might actually be the only two shoes that have backward swooshes. But these are these are really nice. And then also first look at the new James Hardens. What are these? The James Harden 4s? I got a pair of the James Harden 3s last year, or I guess end of or beginning of this year in January. They gave them away for free at Adidas because James Harden scored 61 points. I gave them away to one of you guys, but this is this is a huge step up on the James Harden Volume 3. The 2 was pretty good. The 3, I'll be honest, the 3 was not good. It was not an attractive shoe. The 4 is way better. And for one of like the most iconic and exciting to watch players in the NBA, I mean, except for when he's shooting free throws, this is, uh, this is a lot better shoe than the one they put out last year. Note to anyone traveling in the Philippines, they don't take credit card anywhere. Like anywhere, restaurants, no credit card. 7-Eleven, no credit card. Jollibee, no credit card. I generally spend everything on a credit card, so I've been in a little bit of a crisis today. Thankfully, Christian's an amazing person and he lent me a whole bunch of Philip 50, 20, 100, 100, oh wait, this one is 1,000. Filipino money is amazing for thumbnail clickbait. Like you take 10 of these and you're like, $10,000 challenge, and then everyone gets mad at you for clickbait. I'd just like to let all of us reminisce for when we were in Hong Kong and one Hong Kong dollar, or sorry, six Hong Kong dollars is equal to one dollar. And Bullet RC had like a $10,000 shopping spree in Hong Kong and used Hong Kong dollars. One of the best clickbait moves of all time. Yeah, thankfully Christian lent me some money. Uh, this The currency is crazy, like it's so beat up. It's almost a purely cash society. So you have all these really dirty old bills, whereas in Canada we have plastic bills and they all look brand new. They, they, I mean, it's, it's cool though. I feel like very worldly having all this different currency in my hand. Also, I was gonna exchange US cash and I thought I had US cash, but then I only have like $39 of US cash and it doesn't make sense to pay some extortionate exchange fee for $39 of US cash. It's just not worth it at that point. So I'm just sticking with, thank you Christian for lending me money because my credit card works nowhere. I'm loving the Philippines though. It's been really, really cool so far. We've done a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, we did fake market bargaining. We're gonna be checking out a whole bunch of like a cool volcano. Of course, I'm here for an event, a whole bunch of different stores, just the scenery, the city, the people. We're gonna be doing a lot more than going to malls. I can assure you that that's just what we happen to be doing today while I still sort of try and adjust to the time difference. I've been waking up at like 3 a.m. every single day morning it has been rough but that being said guys i love you from the bottom of my heart you are some of my favorite people on earth seriously i really do appreciate you if you're still watching to this point in the video make sure to follow me on instagram and twitter at tom stefanik and hit that like button subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you tomorrow peace